How's it going, guys? Hey, what's up? Welcome We're back. back. The Crew Season 3, and the word three, it's a solemn word indeed. We're down one person today on yeah. this episode. Hopefully, Same. Trip will get better and join us again on yeah. The Crew. He's he a has sick a guy. really bad case of explosive diarrhea, but we didn't tell you that. He'll, he'll feel better. We got a lot come up in the show today. We do. We have a lot, and it's going to be awesome. We've got some, we got a new segment by our other boy named Caleb. Yep. Caleb's open letter, uh, assisting Caleb's notification. We got you guys out on the road. Oh, yeah. Yeah, me and Brandon and my, our friend Jason went to go get some spring break interviews. That's, we hit the uh, campus. That's coming up right around yeah. the corner. We saw some students, and we got some... We got some opinions and we asked some questions. We got we got a notification again. Yeah, we got a notification from Caleb. That was cool. Mentioned. Yeah, and then yeah. what's uh, Logan? Logan, the countdown. Countdown. Jam packed full of stuff Jam for you guys. Jam packed, it's like a pizza. And of course, we want to let you guys know what's happening. Yeah. So when we get back from this break, we'll tell you guys what's up. I want smaller classes, bigger discussions, and personal attention from my professors. Knowing that they care is really important to me. I want to make sure Brian knows that I'm in his corner. I really care about my students. That's why I come to work every day. My professors believe in me, and I know I'll do just fine when I transfer to a university. That's why I chose Gulf Coast. Staying up to date with Gulf Coast State College just got easier with the new mobile app. It's a quick and convenient way to view college events and upcoming dates, your class schedule and grades, important announcements in social media, and the interactive map for all of our campuses. You can even chat live with a librarian and get help with a research project. The free mobile app is available for Apple and Android devices. Simply scan the code or search for Gulf Coast State College on the App Store or Play Store and download it today. Hey guys, welcome we're back. back. We're welcome back from that short break. So it's time for what's happening, our favorite part of the show, right? Yeah, what's happening in this awesome new logo. Let you guys know just some cool things this week that we just thought we would want to share with you guys that you should know. Yes. What's you got, Amon? Okay, first of all, let's talk about science. Science is becoming crazy awesome, or more crazy awesome, I suppose. Science has given us supervision, and yes, you heard me correctly, supervision. Science has made this contact lens. But this contact lens uses mirrors to focus images and enhance the perspective size and are built to respond to wink, not blinks. You wink one eye and the contact will zoom in 2.8 times the 2.8 times the normal distance of eyesight. <laughs> the magnification. Yeah. And it remains at a one times magnification. So it's kind of crazy. So it's like you have your other eye is normal and then one eye is blinked in, so it's like it's like Superman. Mm -hmm. So it's like a, a device that can into like a predator a binoculars or something. An android. Yeah, it's like a legitimate. It's crazy. It's like a legitimate. How would I mean, you even describe it? A magnifying glass in your eye. Robots. <laughs> robots. So, I mean, how is it powered? I mean, how does it know? I mean, the article didn't really say. It's just like it's still like they have they've tested it on they have the first successful test. But they're not, it's not up for public market, but it will be it's on just, the market soon. And so you've got an electronic device. It's just us getting device. tagged. That's what it is. An electronic device in your eye, and if you blink, it zooms in. No, if you wink. Wink. Yeah, because I said blinking would become too, like, you could give people seizures and stuff because people blink. So you have so to, like, So if you need to wink. zoom out, yeah. how do you? You, you, know, you, zoom, you wink once to you got to read the manual, Brandon. Back. <laughs> I don't know the manual. Wow. I don't know. I just know this is crazy. <laughs> okay. All right, guys, got some sports news for you coming up. Uh, Adrian Peterson, talking about the NFL, is back, in the is back, and the commissioner is exactly not happy about it. Minnesota Vikings running back Adrian Peterson has been reinstated after U.S. District Court Judge David Doty ruled Thursday in the NFL Players Association's lawsuit against the NFL on Peterson's behalf. It is the latest blow to the NFL and Commissioner Roger Goodell, who has watched his rulings against Peterson and Ray Rice, both overturned in recent months. That's crazy. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, the dude can't win. I mean, not that I don't know if he needs to win. He's kind of like a villain, I guess, maybe. I don't know. But, like, I don't think, what, this is my personal view, I don't think disciplining your child is suspension-worthy. And the time he lost from paying or not, 
Adrian Peterson sued the NFL, and he won the case. Mm-hmm. Like, and that's huge news. You don't often sue the NFL as a player and then come out on top. So that's yeah. that's very groundbreaking news. And the commissioner is not a happy camper about it. Nope. If he didn't spend so much time helping out the Patriots, he could tend to his own. You know, business. Peterson's a great player too. Yeah, <laughs> millions of dollars worth at stake. It's crazy. All right, so this is going to take us to another commercial break, but when we come back, we'll right we're going to have a couple of new segments for you. Um, like a bunch. <laughs> like a bunch. Yeah. <laughs> so stay tuned, and y'all. Stay tuned for our Around the Campus Spring Break Patrol, too. Okay, we'll be back. Oop. I want a job where my skills make a difference. I discovered plenty of career options at Gulf Coast State College. Candace is being trained by medical professionals, and she's definitely going to be prepared. We offer more than 150 programs. Some take less than a year to complete. My dream is to work with a cardiac team. I want my patients to feel they're in capable hands. That's why I chose Gulf Coast. I want a career sooner rather than later. I was looking for a perfect fit, and I found it at Gulf Coast State College. Students like Stephanie are already getting jobs. Our workforce graduates are in high demand, and we're committed to helping them succeed. I am excited about my future. I can't wait to have my own restaurant, and that's why I chose Gulf Coast. Welcome back, guys. We've got some crazy segments. I guess we'll kick it off first with what the crew actually did ourselves that's right we go out and we do stuff it's spring break patrol spring break patrol let's see what you the students of gulf coast have to say about spring break hey guys it's the crew here at the campus of gulf coast where we do our things and we decided to ask some people about spring break. And since you know it's such a good revenue for our income and whatnot, we see how people feel on it. So, yeah, see what people have to say. Uh, what are you most looking forward to on spring break? Um, beach. Beach? What about you? Luke Ryan. Luke Ryan. Just hit up the beach, man. I've been working out and stuff. I know you see the muscles. <laughs> just, just working out so I can have that beach body. I think it's a great time to take a break from school because school sucks most of the time and you get tired and hungry and lazy, so spring break, it's a good time to let go and have fun. I like acting like I'm not from here, so I like acting like I'm a tourist and I go on the beach and act like the tourists do without getting crazy, so that's my favorite part. Well, I'm going to go witnessing and telling people about Jesus. So everyone knows who Luke Bryan is from these parts. So how do you feel about Luke Bryan's last concert here? Oh my God. Um, it makes me sad that it's his last concert because I've gone every year except the first one. So hopefully I get to meet him this year. I'm going to do everything possible because he's my absolute favorite artist in the entire world. I concur with that. <laughs> I didn't know that. It's really sad. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't know that either. <laughs> I'm definitely going to have to go there. I'm so sorry, but I just burst your bubble. <laughs> yeah, it's, <laughs> but it's free, so that's good. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, definitely. How would you describe spring break if your grandparents asked you about it? If my grandparents asked me. My grandma asked me. Uh, I would tell her it was crazy. Uh, probably crazier than anything she's accustomed to. Uh, it's a lot of drinking. Uh, just a lot of kids doing a lot of crazy stuff. Uh, she would probably disapprove. <laughs> Um, I'd explain it as Christmas break, but going to the beach every day. <laughs> I would tell them not to come. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> when they asked you what crazy meant, what would you say? Um, I'm not even sure how to put that into words. <laughs> yeah, just... What? What's your least favorite part about spring break? Uh, probably people falling off the balconies and dying. It really ruins the reputation of spring break when people just die out here. True. What about you? <laughs> I'm with her on that one. <laughs> the binge drinking. I'm, I'm not really uh, about binge drinking. If you want to get together with your friends and you go to the beach and you want to drink and have a good time, I mean, I'm fine with that, but just solely drinking for the for the purpose to get drunk and act stupid, uh, I'm not really about that. You know, you can have a good time and not be uh, bludgering, intoxicated, you know? Yeah, that's a great answer. So, 
Final question. Um, I don't think it's appropriate to say on TV. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, thank you. Yeah. If you could do one thing to make spring break better, what would you do? I could do one thing to make spring break better. Uh, uh, have everybody have the same spring break at one time. <laughs> and everybody can have a good time together. Well, thanks, man. I appreciate that. What don't you like about spring break? We don't. Oh, oh I you, you're, yeah. Oh, you're, okay. Yeah, yeah right. people get a little too Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, I probably wouldn't change anything about spring break. It brings us a lot of money because of the sheer craziness of it. So, you know, spring break, spring break down here. Mm, maybe less people. I don't know. <laughs> oh, yeah, more local stuff would be fun. Yeah, definitely. Wow, spring break. Yeah, a lot of people are sad about Luke Bryan. Yeah. Start but Start we do have weekend. some other cool shows coming up though too, like you know, Flocka and Yeah, <laughs> Juicy J. Yeah. Oh my god, Shaggy's back. <laughs> it was him. It was totally him. But like T Pain's back. Yeah, T Pain's coming. Mm. I mean, like it's the crazy. beach will be bustling. Yeah. For sure. The beach will be hustling. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Rick Ross Joe. So we got another segment. Yes, we do. We have Logan's ever popular countdown. Candy Logan. Let's see what Logan's been talking about. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to The Countdown. Today, I'm gonna to count down for you the top five historical man-made landmarks. Number five is Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu is a city that is located almost 8,000 feet above sea level on a mountain ridge above the valley of, and I'm about to butcher this name, Urubomba in Peru. It is said to be built around 1450 at the height of the Inca Empire and it was abandoned around 1572. It was actually rediscovered in 1911. But number four is the Roman Colosseum. The Colosseum is one of the, is the center of Rome, Italy, and is one of the greatest architecture building, <laughs> the greatest architectures ever built in the history of Rome, or maybe even the world. It was built to organize gladiatorial events, dramas, plays, hunting games, and all of it was even open to the public. Number three is the Greek Parthenon. This is one of the most famous buildings in the world, and a visit to Athens is just not complete without a visit to the temple. <clears throat> the original purpose of the Parthenon was to hold a massive statue of Athena Parthenos, made of ivory, silver, gold, but was, it was also used as a fortress and a church. The statue was stolen by a Roman emperor in the fifth century and was eventually destroyed, but it, the building still stands today. Anyway, number two is the Great Wall of China, possibly the most recognizable symbol and most extensive construction project ever completed, ever. The wall was originally conceived by, again, I'm going to butcher this, Emperor Quan Shi Hung in the 3rd century BC as a means to protect from invasion. The wall stretches for just over 5,000 and a half miles. <clears throat> Number one is the Great Pyramids of Giza. The pyramids are some of the greatest minma de some of the greatest structures in history. The worst thing about it is we still don't really have a good idea exactly how they were built by the Egyptians. They align with the stars and the solstice and contain vast chambers, some that are still unopened. Their size reflects the unique role the emperor, the pharaoh, played in their society. You know, perhaps the biggest attraction to these landmarks is that they're windows into the cultures that built them. But anyway, guys, that's my top five historical man-made landmarks. I'm Logan, and I'll see you next time. Yeah, wow. Woo-woo, Logan. Talking about that. 
There's a lot of awesome stuff that man has done. Like the, the top Great Wall of China is five of them. Great. Top five. Indeed, Great Wall of China, and you know. We'll have more top five next thing. week. <laughs> but up next, we have Caleb with Nerdification. Let's see what's nerdy. Hello, I'm Caleb, and this is Nerd Edification, where I tell you about the best nerdy news of the week. Something interesting about the Zelda Wii U game, according to longtime series producer EJ Anuma, the world is as big as can be managed on the system. He said, ever since we made the very first generation of the Legend of Zelda games, we've had to make as big a world as can be realized by the hardware. So it was natural that it would happen on the Wii U title. As of February 17, 2015, Satoru Iwata gave a presentation to the company's investors. During this presentation, he addressed topics that will be discussed in the future, but on the list of topics that Iwata hopes to discuss in the next quarter includes quality of life devices, plans to take advantage of the smart devices, and more aggressive use of Nintendo's character IP. In this case of the latter, it is possible that we'll find out about the rumors of the Legend of Zelda, Zelda TV series. Also, Satori Iwata talked about more localizing games from Japan. Nintendo will also launch Amiibos in a card form this year. Woohoo! Yes! Have you ever wanted to build your own lightsaber? This fall, Hasbro will debut Star Wars Blade Builders, a new lightsaber kit packed with compatible hilts, connectors, and other materials that lets fans create their own dream lightsaber. And yes, cross guards are included. The main Jedi Master pack will cost about $50, including a lightsaber with lights, electronic sounds, a pair of light daggers, and an expansion hilt, and a variety of connectors. From there, fans can mix and match from three other assortment packs, tied to the various characters. Blades will come both in foam and expendable plastic. So parents, don't worry, Hasbro's not selling any real lightsabers, just yet. Earlier this week, the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration, or the FAA, released the rules and regulations for commercial drones. The rule applies to drones under 55 pounds, and the pilot must take a test every 24 months. The drone must be in line of sight, and the drone cannot be flown over people. The pilots must be at least 17 years old and can only be flown during the day. So it's not looking too good for Amazon Prime. At midnight this past Sunday, AT&T announced it would be bringing its GigaPower internet service to Kansas City, offering to match exactly the price and speed offered by Google Fiber. For $70 per month, customers can get a connectivity of 1 gigabyte per second, and for $120, they get a basic TV package as well. The rollout highlights how increasing competition is benefiting the consumers. After the arrival of Google Fiber, the dominant player in Kansas City, Time Warner has tripled its speeds without racing prices. The only thing is AT&T can spy on you if you don't pay another fee, and they can sell that information to companies for advertising. Just saying. Samsung has the Smarticle TVs, or Mega TVs. Uh, the company's line of ultra-capable televisions can run dozens of apps, stream games and movies, and can be controlled via voice command. The Smart TV privacy policy that applies to anyone who purchases one makes it clear that your voice carries further than you think. In order for the TV to respond to any legitimate voice commands you happen to utter, it has to be listening the entire time. So the TV itself will recognize your commands, right? 
wrong. Instead, your voice data is sent to an unnamed third party via your TV's Wi-Fi connection, which makes the translation from speech to text and then sends data back to the TV. Then Samsung says that anything you do or say gets recorded by the third party, so yeah, just watch what you say to your television. That's it for today's news. If you want to see more in-depth news, go check out the Nerd Edification Hour. We record live on Wednesdays at 1 p.m. And if you miss it, upload it. I upload it later on my YouTube channel. The channel is strangely entertaining and it also would mean a lot if you went and liked our Facebook page and followed me on Twitter. That's Strangely Entertaining, Nerd Edification Hour, and the Nerd at and at Nerd Edification, respectively. Till next week, stay fancy. Welcome back again, guys. Yeah, that's some interesting news. Feeling a little nerdy now. Yeah, always. Oh, there's so much information, man. It's like crazy. It's a good segment. He yeah, on to another nerdy friend of ours that you know very well, our friend Caleb. Yeah. Something new we have. Other Caleb. You remember other Caleb, right? Dr. Caleb. He this, sat in one of these spots that don't exist anymore. This is a uh, new segment called Open Letter. Yes, it's how Caleb wrote his open thoughts about something. This is going to make you laugh. Check Let's it out. Let's go into Caleb's mind. Dear Pizza, you're great. You are a marvel of culinary ingenuity, the perfect byproduct of international commerce and the need for a dish that is impressively inexpensive yet remarkably delicious. Ever since your humble beginnings, when the poor folks of Naples would add tomatoes to their flatbread because the wealthy people of Europe considered them to be the poisonous fruit of the nightshade family, you started on your path to the road of succulently affordable fame. At your most basic, you consist of bread, tomato, and cheese. However, with time and the human desire to make something that is unique, the combination of toppings and crust styles make you an edible juggernaut. A tantalizing force to be reckoned with no matter the tax bracket your ingesters reside in. If you can conceive it, you can put it on a pizza. You are so well known that there are even styles specific to their geographical location. There's the New York, the Chicago, the California, the deep dish, the thin crust, even freeze-dried space pizza. Nearly everyone who knows you adores you. Pizza, you are a global force for good. That's why one of the greatest movements to support is hashtag free pizza. I was taken aback when I heard of your recent incarceration. I mean, those charges were bogus. We both know what caused those people's weight issues. Lack of self-control, use of moderation, genetic glandular conditions. Nothing in that shows that you were directly responsible for those allegations. However, I'm not concerned about your career post-penitentiary. Because I know, I know, that the mixtape that you're going to drop upon your release, The Pie, The Whole Pie, and Nothing But The Pie, featuring Sliced Cheesy and the Mozzarella Twins, will be the hottest slice to hit the scene in 2015. Believe that. Oh, and don't ever forget, I believe in you, Pizza, because you always believe in me. Hashtag free pizza, Caleb Jordan. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Caleb. Caleb that's good. <laughs> I can't wait to see the next Drop one. Drop it on mixtape. <laughs> All right, guys. We got to go to a quick break, but stay tuned because we got your favorite segment coming when we get back. Man of Us is next. Stay tuned. Staying up to date with Gulf Coast State College just got easier with the new mobile app. It's a quick and convenient way to view college events and upcoming dates, your class schedule and grades, important announcements and social media, and the interactive map for all of our campuses. You can even chat live with a librarian and get help with a research project. The 
free mobile app is available for Apple and Android devices. Simply scan the code or search for Gulf Coast State College on the App Store or Play Store and download it today. I want smaller classes, bigger discussions, and personal attention from my professors. Knowing that they care is really important to me. I want to make sure Brian knows that I'm in his corner. I really care about my students. That's why I come to work every day. My professors believe in me, and I know I'll do just fine when I transfer to a university. That's why I chose Gulf Coast. Hey guys. Welcome, welcome back. back. Hope you didn't miss us for those three minutes or however long our what time is it? breaks are. Man talk, man advice. Man, man advice. advice. Yeah. Time for some great advice. Kick it All off, right. Brandon. First question, dear the crew, how do you talk to girls? Well, open. Just your be mouth. honest. You be honest. Be you gotta respectful. Be honest. Respectful. <laughs> They're the ones that do all the talking, right? Uh, <laughs> Aaron does all the talking uh, to the girls, right? No, be, but really, it's honest. really easy. You gotta be respectful. You just talk to them. Yeah, I hope I'm talking to some right now. That'd you gotta be cool. lie about your credit score. <laughs> you gotta be like, girl, I got amazing credit. You want a diamond? Let's go. Let's go do it. Like, let's go get a diamond. Just be honest. Um, you know, don't lie and don't be rude. Yeah. And compliment. Have a nice 401k. But don't be like, you know, keep saying, hey, you're you're beautiful. Your eyes are, you know. Just, get get just, some substance. Just don't be like, girl, you're so beautiful. Why am I beautiful? Cause, you beautiful. Just buy them a pizza. Yeah, just bu girls love food. They don't want you to think they do, but they love food and sometimes they toot. Buy so pizza. be okay with them tooting and give them food. That's love, man. I hey, love that's the pizza. textbook definition of love. Just, just putting up with their toots and man. buying their food. I, I've read somewhere that like girls like if you take the initiative and talk to them. Have you read somewhere? <laughs> I, I don't know where it was you on the didn't internet. Ask or... her? No, no. If if you go and make the conversation to the girl instead of having the girl come talk to you, that's you're more likely. Yeah. You gotta initiate. Initiate. Oh, yeah. You gotta man. They don't want a baby. Because once you start talking. What? Like a baby, like a like a man baby. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, we just trying to talk to him. Man. I was like, whoa, Aaron, we just started talking. True. Man, yeah, just start the conversation. Never know where pizza will lead. Just try not to make it awkward and uh, just be comfortable. And if you feel like you're just drop bailing, a mixtape on her. Like just drop. Yeah, a just drop her. Drop your demo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, Aaron, what you got for yours? All right, guys. Uh, where to go? Where to go? What? Give me that a monster. Here we go. Dear the crew, I think I'm coming down with a rash. Got any tips? <laughs> like, I mean, I mean, I mean, can we get a full shot? <laughs> I mean, can we get a full shot? What for? I mean, we just wow. got to give this guy some advice. He's got like, a problem. I mean, just. If you have a rash. Where? <laughs> I mean. It doesn't matter. Like, what? Head down to your local pharmacy and uh, ask them for some some man buys. Uh, Go to uh, uh, yeah. WebMD on the online yeah. or something, or Google it and uh, get it taken care of. Google's awesome. You don't want your rash but to spread. But you might. Okay, if you Google your rash, you might like find something like you have TB. Nine times out of ten, you don't. It might turn TB. out to be something way worse yeah. than you thought it was. You and might have you'll like be perpendicular. Really itis. happy you looked it up. Yeah. If you need medical attention and it's an emergency, call nine one one. Disclaimer: We are not doctors. We are not telling you, like, if this is serious. Get the only doctor on this show help. is Dr. Phil Yaw, and he is not present right get now. But we can consult him. Get professional Seek medical help. professional advice. Yes. Yes. Okay. Aaron? Hope that helped. We got, we got one more. Yes. Yeah, it's right there. Yeah, his name's Amon. I know, but that's what I'm saying. Me and Aaron, we got to get oh, Amon's okay, question. Okay, yeah. Let's see. Okay. Dear the crew, who will win in a fight, Batman or Superman? Now, this is the best man advice ever because it's true. Um, I think that Superman is going to try and use all his powers and whatnot. But yeah, keep in mind, Batman's Batman, so by the law of average, Batman is going to win. There's because Batman. actually a, a post somewhere on the internet that I've read before, and it literally explains how Batman is better in every way possible, and could be like, and it would sh it like tells how he could beat any superhero, and like Superman was on there, and based on the logic on that, which was really well thought out, I gotta go with Batman because it's Batman. Yeah, what about you, Brandon? 
I, I mean, Superman has the Superman word soup in his name. Kryptonite. Yeah. Who's afraid of soup? He's just, he's, he, diamonds are his weakness. What he gonna do if Lois want a rock and then he can't get Lois a rock because he can't touch it because he's gonna like die. Like man up, like Batman, he's already got the rocks. Like he's got a mine, he's got a bat cave. You know what's in that cave? Diamonds. So soup, Batman's gonna be like a gentleman and Superman's just gonna be like, I don't know if this is gonna kill me, so you're not getting one. Although Superman Here's is like an alien with like, super, you know, of course, super strength. Everybody know that, but. What do you think, Brandon? Let's hear your opinion. I think, you know, Superman. Of course you say Superman. I mean, he is Superman. Superman has a lot of powers that. In theory, he could, you know, just throw Batman. Are you just like the villain? Isn't it Goth Gothlin, doesn't Gothlin need a villain? Gotham said he need Gotham. Gotham? Yeah. Uh, Gotham. Gotham's got a few villains. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, they got so Bane. Batman. They got like, they got crazy psychotic people. Yeah. Like, and Superman, you, I mean. Arkham City coming out. He's always there too. to Arkham the rescue. Knight. Arkham Knight. That's what I meant. Yeah. Sorry, Arkham Knight. Arkham Knight's legit. I think Superman can take on Batman. I, I really do. No, he just, there's a there's a movie coming out in twenty. Was it twenty sixteen? Yeah. Batman versus Superman. Yeah, we'll find out then. Yeah. All right. Before we, we go, to be continued. But we gotta wrap this up. No, before we Kick go, we need <laughs> we need help. Wrong rap. We need help. Wrong rap. Yeah. Our Facebook has not picked up any likes this week, like it should have. Come on, guys. We need more friends. Imagine sad puppies. Like, if you want, you know, I'm gonna Photoshop our heads on sad puppies. Facebook.com backslash the crew five. This is us, man. That's us right there. You're so beautiful. You love us. We're at 174 likes. You don't just like we us. We need more likes. We won't Find be us. satisfied until we get all of the likes. You more than like us. <laughs> all of the likes, all of the likes. Tiny, tiny but really though, find guys, us, uh, like us, and then also you can find part of the Commodore Productions here at Gulf Coast yep. State College. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you also find show segments. And then if you have any man advice questions or comments, just send them to us. Send us to us. Any questions like about you. the program? You want to come down here and check out the set? Anything? You just, just do your know. programming homework. Find different people because we probably can't do it. Probably not. But uh, stay tuned out. for next week's show because we're also going to do another Spring Break Patrol here on campus. Yeah. We're we'll try to have it even more packed than this one was. Because Spring Break officially kicks off this weekend. Yeah. Once again, I'm Brandon. I'm Aaron. And I'm Amon. We'll see you on the next show. Rest in peace.